Good afternoon, LHS. I'm Sadie Eisenhower. And I'm Katie. Today is Friday, November 18th, 2016. Thank you to everyone who donated and wore red. Now here's the three-day forecast. Hello, LHS. I'm reporter Elena Jimenez, coming to you with a three-day forecast. For today, it'll be sunny with a seasonable 66, and at night, it'll go back down to a cool 40. For Saturday, it'll be a high of 66, and at night, it'll go back down to a low 34. And for Sunday, it'll be cloudy and windy, and the weather will rise to a cool 46, and at night, it'll go back down to a low 30. Thank you, Letman. Here is a spotlight feature done by WLHS reporter Wilfredo Rojina of two of our very own LHS students, Molly Payne and Michaela Ginrick, who have been had the amazing opportunity to dance in the Macy's Day Parade. I'm here with Michaela Ginrick and Molly Payne, who are both sophomores, and they are going to be participating in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade as dancers. So what is it exactly that you guys are going to be doing in the parade? Well, we'll walk the parade, and then at the end at Herald Square, we'll be performing our dance with Spirit of America Productions. And why were you two selected? What? It was an opportunity through our dance studio that we kind of just took. <laughs> how long will you guys be rehearsing, and how long have you rehearsed? Um, well, we've started rehearsal about two, three weeks ago, and we'll continue rehearsing until the day of the parade. And how long do you guys plan on staying there? How long is it? Um, we'll be there for six days. We're leaving November 19th and coming back the 24th, I mean 25th. <laughs> and how many dancers are involved? Um, from our studio, Dance Nation, there's eight of us. And in total, an estimate? In total, like, hundreds? Yeah, I hundreds. can't give you a good estimate. <laughs> and have either one of you ever been to New York? I have been there twice. I've never been to New York. So that's going to be like a good opportunity and experience for you, Michaela. Yeah, definitely. And Molly, are you looking forward to this experience? Oh, yeah. Are you ready for it? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, ladies. Thank you. Good luck, ladies. Here are some study tips for upcoming finals week brought to you by WLHS reporter Laura Gilbert. With finals quickly approaching, it's important to plan ahead and make sure you are studying properly to ensure you receive the best grade possible. Here are some tips to help you out and some advice on what not to do during your study sessions. The first tip I could give is to use note cards. Note cards are key as they are a huge helpful tool for memorization. Note cards can give you an opportunity to quiz yourself and allow you to write down the most important ideas that you may need to know for your final. However, studying alone can cause you to be easily distracted. Technology like our phones are a major distraction and should be put in a place where they are not visible. It is essential to minimize these distractions as your studying will not be productive if you spend it on your phone. The second tip would be to find a great collaborative partner. Both of you can quiz each other and discuss problems that may be hard to understand. Two minds are better than one. Having a study partner can quickly turn negative as you might not stay focused. The conversation can suddenly turn into something more enjoyable, like gossiping or simply chatting about everything but school. Try to pick a person who will help you stay on track and get the job done. The last tip is to stay organized. Gather all your materials and books together before the start of studying. Highlighters and sharp notes are great tools to help you have a clear mind. A messy area can lead to a messy mind. You should always sort out all your folders and notes so your studying can be as painless as possible. When things are messy, this can cause a poor attitude and for you to give up. Finals are not something to fear, as long as you take time to prepare. I know we are teenagers and our lives can become chaotic, but we all need to find the time to study. Trust me, nothing feels better than acing a test. Study hard and good luck. Thank you, Laura. We should all definitely take your tips into consideration. Finals will be held next week. Monday will be periods 1 and 4, Tuesday is periods 2 and 5, and Wednesday is period 3. Pay attention to Schoology for updates on the schedule. 
Attention LHS staff and students. The National Honor Society will be holding their first fundraiser for the 2017 Minithon, which is an event to help raise money for families fighting childhood cancer. Start saving your pennies. When we come back from break, each homeroom will be giving a jug to collect the pennies. For each penny your homeroom collects, you will earn one point. Now, there wouldn't be a war without sabotage. Students may sabotage any class by putting other forms of money, with, like nickels and dimes. This subtracts the monetary value from the classroom's jugs. For example, if a nickel is placed in the jug, that will subtract 5 points from their total. A quarter subtracts 25 points, and a dollar subtracts 100 points. There will be a dress-down day given to the winning graduating class. This means it will be freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, and teachers that are battling against each other. Our goal for Penny Wars is to raise $2,000. If we reach this goal, there will be a pizza party given to the winning homeroom. NHS members will stop by your homeroom after the break to give your homeroom the jug and answer any further questions. Good luck! Musical callbacks for all cast will be held tomorrow at 3 p.m. Be sure to dress comfortably for the dance portion of the audition. All seniors and juniors are permitted to obtain a pass in advance for upcoming college admissions. The dates and times are posted on Schoology. Congratulations to the LHS Quiz Bowl team on defeating Columbia by a score of two games to one. They are now in 16th place out of 25 teams. Our next match is home versus McCaskey on December 5th. Wish our cheerleading competition team good luck as they compete at their first competition this Saturday. The girls will be competing at Wilson Area High School at 12.20 p.m. Tickets are $10 for adults and $6 for senior citizens and children. As always, if you are interested in participating in WLHS, please contact one of the members for more information. Have, Have a great, great day, Lebanon, Lebanon High. high.